Okay, now I'm about to do the Disney Infinity 2.0 characters in Disney Infinity 3.0. Now, despite the fact that this is mainly focusing on Star Wars, there's still some Marvel stuff included. Congratulations! This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Ah yes, Iron Man. Don't you just love it when he flies? Now the first time I was introduced to Iron Man was to a figure which is sort of like Transformers but instead of Transformers it's Marvel superheroes having the ability to transform into various objects or other things like um, Spider-Man transform into a monster spider, Venom transforming into a Hydra, Rhino transforming into a, uh, a Rhino, Iron Man transforming into a battle axe. Yeah, kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> but the first time I, I encountered him in a video game was Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Now, I, had not, I don't remember seeing him on TV, but I do remember seeing him... Um, I do remember seeing the Iron Man movies, and they were really good. enough of Iron Man. Now we go with Thor, God of Thunder. Congratulations! This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. To me, Belmere. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I thought you cannot fly without your hammer. <laughs> I mean, I remember watching this episode of the Superhero Squad where Thor had to leave his hammer behind, and because of that, he had to use a rocket pack. I guess his hammer gives him the ability to fly, or I might be missing out on something. I never really read the comics, but... I, I heard that he can't really fly without his hammer. I mean, remember the Thor movie? Sorry, I just... Well... Well, was I going on this far? I don't know. I don't know. I was kind of... Well, uh... <laughs> He's back. Okay, let's go with the um, this. <laughs> Congratulations! This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. The Black Widow. You know the funny thing is when I when I was introduced to the Black Widow. I thought she, um, she had a Russian accent. Yeah. And I've heard in her biography that she is, in fact, from Russia. But in the Marvel movies, her accent is normal. Not Russian. Just normal. Um, I don't know. Maybe I am missing out something. Is there an explanation why she has a normal... Oh, american ishy voice instead of a russian -y type of a voice. Granted, she is played by Scarlett Johansson. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, we come to probably one of the most popular Marvel characters of all time. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Spider-Man. I will admit I didn't really enjoy Ultimate Spider-Man, but I really do like his other incarnations. The 1960s Spider-Man, the 1990s Spider-Man. I remember watching Spectacular Spider-Man, but the designs Great job. were I did it. were not that. The exploration host has a challenge for you. Find all of the hidden spark capsules. A variety of moves and abilities will be required to collect them all. Whoops, I must have must have hit the trigger for some reason. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, jet just speeds just like flies. Look out, here comes a Spider-Man. I love that theme song. Even though it's a 60s, it's really catchy. I, I dare I say catchier than the spectacular Spider-Man theme song and the 90s Spider-Man theme song. But they, those are not bad, but but it's the 1960s Spider-Man theme song I enjoy more. I think it's the third catchiest theme. Marvel theme song, along with Superhero Squad being number one and the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes being number two. Superhero Squad, you up! Superhero Squad, you up! Always we will fight as one, forever fight as one. Unfortunately, we're not going to have any more catchy theme songs from Marvel. I mean, they're all replaced by the Marvel company title and the name of the show's title. And that's about it. There's no catchy theme song at all. Okay. Now I will say Spider-Man is better off being a solo player. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. I, I will say that Spider-Man is better off being a solo player than a team player. I mean I do not think it was wise for him to have a team. Having Nova, White Tiger, um Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Nick Fury. I thought there was a, that, I thought there was um going against what I expected for what I expected for Spider Man. I mean, he's always good as a solo guy, but but to him, having him being a team player is kind of out of the norm. Well, to be fair, I do remember him being in a team once. Spider-Man and his amazing friends. He once teamed up with Iceman and a character that was made for that show until they, she started going into the comics, Firestar. By the way, why is Nova not wearing a uh, a yellow helmet instead of a blue? I mean, the way I was introduced to him, he was wearing a blue. Okay, now let's go with the true American. Congratulations! This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. One of the earliest shows 
one of the earliest Marvel characters ever made. Captain America. He was made during World War II. And when he was around, America felt really safe. Okay, that that noise from the shield is kind of annoying. I I, can't, I don't know. I mean, I never heard the shield sounding so much like that. I mean, it's like someone's pushing a shelf or something. Okay, I'm done with uh, Captain America. I will say, however, that um, Captain America, the first Avengers, was really good. Winter Soldier was not bad either. Ah, yes, the big one. Hi, Captain. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. If anybody has an army, we have the Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Now, the way I was introduced to the Hulk was the 2003 movie, which was disturbing and confusing. I remember watching this as a kid, and I felt really sick afterwards. Now, the Incredible Hulk 2008, on the other hand, that was real. That was a million times better. Now I heard he now, now he has left the Avengers after Age of Ultron. But I don't know whether or not he'll return. And some say he'll live. He has lived. Or maybe he just and he just went to a better place to make sure he's not dangerous anymore. To keep himself out of dangerous hands. Or keep his friends out of dangerous hands like the Black Widow. Now, when I was a kid, I always had this wish. Why did the Hulk never hear got angry but stayed the Hulk? Huh. When, whenever he's smiling, he stays the Hulk. And I was a kid and that was my wish and voila, Superhero Squad granted my wish. Avengers also granted my wish. But better, he's angrily happy when when Captain America said, "And Hulk, smash!" And then he smiled. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the Hulk. Let's go with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Congratulations! This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Ah yes, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty much it's something that used to be underrated now has become very popular. Now, I remember what, I didn't know what to think about it, but I then told myself, if it's, a, if it's a Marvel Cinematic Movie, it's gotta be really good, because of all the, because the Marvel movies have not had a really bad one. Although Thor The Dark World was a little bit on the lower side, same with 
Mar with Avengers Age of Ultron. Nevertheless, they're still really good. But I think Guardians of the Galaxy is my number one favorite. I mean, it's really funny. Dark and funny at the same time, and it's a perfect balance. <laughs> I mean, the way Star-Lord is dancing to the 60s and 70s music, and they have no idea what, what he's doing and stuff. And... <laughs> And um, Drax the Destroyer takes things literally. Okay, um, I'm done with um, with Star Lord. Let's go with the Green Gal. Well, Stealth Elf is also a Green Gal, but this one's another Green Gal. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Shit the goat, shit the goat. Oh great, I tipped the cattle over again. The tractor. <laughs> mm. You know, the funny thing is that, um... She's played by, uh... Um, was it a Zoe Saldana? I don't know. I, I can't pronounce names very well. Zoe Saldana, maybe? And she was in another spacey type of a film... Um, called the new Star Trek <laughs> and I was wondering whether or not Star Trek and Guardians of the Galaxy have a bit of a connection by the way did you know that Chris Pratt has a lot of his roles Lego-fied <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Lego Tarot congratulations <laughs> um, wait wait wait, 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 wait now connected to your profile um, Okay, going a bit off topic for a minute. Um, Chris Pratt's roles have been Lego fight. I mean, he was in the Lego Movie, Guardians of the Galaxy had a Lego set, Jurassic World had a Lego set, and they all starred Chris Pratt. And now we come to I am Groot. Now, this is the third Tree Man Kevin Michael Richardson has voiced. He's, I mean, in Skylanders, he did two tree characters, Stump Smash and Tree Rex. In Disney Infinity, he's this guy, Groot. Originally, he was voiced by Michael Clark Duncan, who sadly passed away at not an old age in 2012. And that was really sad. I mean, his only role was Groot in Ultimate Spider-Man. I really love Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, despite his lack of vocabulary, He's really sweet, he's really, um, gentle, but he can be pushed to his limits. <laughs> and he has the habit to disobey others, like, for instance, uh, he kind of disobeyed... Hmm. Why does that thing look like, when, when it's closer, it looks like it's... When you get close to it, it's flat, but if you look at it from the side, it looks like it's been stilted, and yet... Ah, oh, I'm so confused. It's like that mirror thing that... Thing, things are not what they seem. It looks far, but it's actually mirror, like a mirage or something. Congratulations! 
Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Yes, Hawkeye. To be honest, I don't know how to feel about him. I mean, the first time I was introduced to Hawkeye was the Superhero Squad show. And I kind of liked it better when he was wearing a mask. Oh, by the way, comparing to Skylanders and Disney Infinity, Hawkeye shares Glumpshanks' voice actor. <laughs> I just love that trick. Hawkeye and Marita would be perfect rivals for Snapshot and Flameslinger. Hawkeye would be better for Slameshinger, Marita, but I think Marita might be better with Punk Shock, I don't know. Just shooting arrows and stuff. Okay, I keep hitting them in the eye. That's a really mean of me. Okay, that's enough of Hawkman. And now we go to this guy. Nicholas Fury. Congratulations. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Now, I'm... Now, I don't... Now, here's something I don't want... I really think I shouldn't be saying because of sensitive people, but did you know Nick Fury originally didn't start off black? He originally started out white. In the original comics, he was a white man. And in one of an, in an old movie, he was played by David Hasselhoff. Um, in the ultimate version, Nick Fury was black, and they used Samuel L. Jackson as a template model for the character. And, and it would later, and what a shock, Samuel L. Jackson later gets to play as that character. In the original Marvel Universe, the white Nick Fury, he has either retired or died, I don't know, and he had a son called Nick Fury Jr. who's black, and he bears a resemblance to the ultimate Nick Fury, and nowadays is our Nick Fury. Who do you prefer, the white Nick Fury or the black Nick Fury? If any of you are offended by my racial comments about this, I deeply apologize. I'm sorry if I meant if I offended any of you for saying that. Oh dear, running out of footage thingy again. Time to go with another. Time to go with part two of Disney Infinity 2.0 and 3.0. Doodles for now.